point of this article is to talk about the evidence showing a key role for the protein Tempris-2 in how SARS-CoV-2 attacks the human body. Tempris-2 is a protein that we know a lot about from prostate cancer research because this protein has a, a key role in how prostate cancer grows. And so I, as a medical oncologist, immediately took an interest when I started to see the data showing how Tempris-2 is important to COVID. And what's interesting about this is that Tempris-2 is a molecule uh, where we can potentially target it uh, with medicines as a way of trying to decrease how bad COVID infections get in patients. All right, so I'm, I'm here today to talk about our article recently published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings entitled Targeting Tempris-2 in SARS-CoV-2 Infection. Of course, SARS-CoV-2 is the coronavirus that's causing the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, which is spreading around the world right now. So Tempris-2 is a protein that's on the surface of our human cells. And when SARS-CoV-2, when that virus comes into the body, Tempris-2 has to interact with that virus in order to get it uh, optimal, if you, if you will, for invading into a cell. Now, the interesting thing about this is that this relationship between Tempris-2 and coronavirus infections was understood back in 2003 after the SARS pandemic back then, because that virus is very closely related to the virus we're currently dealing with. And so a lot of research happened after the SARS pandemic 17 years ago. And when this pandemic broke out, the research was repeated with the new virus and they saw the same thing. What they saw was that if we inhibit Tempris-2, that is stop the activity of this protein, that suddenly the SARS-CoV-2 infection is much, much less severe. And so our article reviews the science behind this and kind of breaks down where Tempris-2 is in the human body and how that correlates to the impact of and symptoms of the current COVID outbreak. The article then goes on to talk about how Tempris-2 can potentially be targeted as a treatment strategy for treating COVID infections. And in particular, it focuses on a drug called camostat mesylate, uh, which has been shown in laboratory tests to be effective in decreasing how aggressive this COVID-19 infection can be. And ultimately where this is very important and where Mayo Clinic is, is you know, somewhat different from other institutions in the US is just this week we are starting a clinical trial using this drug, camostat mesylate, in patients hospitalized with COVID-19 infections. So this is a treatment strategy that's really based on very good data that's been around now for, uh, for several, well really for you know, 17 years since the first uh, experimental proof of this concept. And we're going to be doing a clinical trial treating our hospitalized patients uh, with camostat mesylate uh, in order to try to decrease how severe their COVID-19 infections are. So I hope you'll enjoy reading this article and it helps in your clinical practice. Without question, the medical community worldwide is very focused on beating COVID-19. Uh, and, you know, we offer this paper uh, as a review paper and, and as hopefully a, a summary, uh, you know, that helps both patients and physicians uh, try to conceptualize a, a rational approach uh, to beating back uh, this pandemic. Thank you very much for your attention. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content 
is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.